Hi everyone, welcome to art class with Miss Brittany. I'm super excited to teach you guys about a really special artist named Henry Matisse. He was famous for making these super big paintings where he would use um, cutouts of shapes that were inspired by different parts of nature. So before we get started on our book, I wanna show you some of those shapes. So while we're reading, maybe we can point them out. So once we're done reading, we're gonna play this game. It's called Roll a Matisse. And when you look at this, you'll notice some of these different figures and they look like people or birds. Then we have the ones that look like this and they kind of remind me of maybe clouds or trees or leaves or something like that. And then over here we have some stars, maybe some squiggly lines that kind of remind me of waves in an ocean. This kind of reminds me of a shell. Um, so you can kind of use your imagination to decide what you think each of these things are. And while we're reading, we'll take a good look and see um, if we can point out some of the really awesome shapes that Henry Matisse was famous for. So the book I want to read you is called Henry Scissors by Jeanette Winter. In a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henry Emile Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint too. So already we can see some of those little flowers. He drew pictures in the sand and he drew pictures in his school books. So just as a kid, he was already really getting into art. See, we can see the little bird that he's drawing in the sand. Some of these shapes, like the ones from our game that kind of look like leaves. When Henry was a young man, he drew pictures in his books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henry was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints and he painted until he was well. So here he is, he was a lawyer. And even as he was working, he was still painting and drawing, because that's what he loved the most. He kept on painting, forgot about law, and left his small town to be an artist in Paris. Henry painted pictures day after day and year after year. So these were the first paintings he was famous for. See, he would just make people in different landscapes, but he always used these really pretty bright and bold colors. He was happy and his, his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill he couldn't paint, so ill he couldn't sit up, and so ill he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. Matisse finally opened his eyes and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed and use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help him get well. Before long, he sat up. A little later, he drew. So that's great. He's starting to feel well enough to draw again. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. So he came up with a whole new style of art, totally different than what he had already been doing. So cool. So see, here's all those little shapes again. Matisse cut paper all day. My pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? His assistants painted paper for him. So there they are, they're painting the papers for him so that he can cut them out. It seems to me that I am in a second life. Paper cutouts covered his walls. So here we can take a look at some of these paintings and these are examples of real paintings by Matisse. So this one, this looks like a bunch of squares. We have these shapes, maybe some little leaves. Maybe this is representing a tree and this one too. 
actually, these ones kind of remind me of these leaves from this plant. And if you guys notice all the colors he's using, he's always using these bright colors. One evening, Batiste lay in bed and drew faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down and saw his dreams. So check that out. There he is. He's actually laying in his bed with that long pole with some chalk at the end. And he actually drew those faces on the ceiling. They saw, they saw the shapes that surrounded him in his sleep. So here's that bird that we've seen. Those leaves again. Some stars up here. So when he was dreaming, he was still dreaming about his art and thinking of the next paintings and um, creations he would make. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. They filled his seaside room with color. You see, as I am obligated to remain often in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, and birds. So as time went on, his paintings and cutouts got bigger and bigger. And there's actually one in um, a museum right here in the United States. And the painting is so big that um, people who go to see it actually feel like they're walking through a garden. I am deeply content and happy. So here he is in his garden of papers. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden. The rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him to heaven. There he is in his garden. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henry's scissors? Perhaps they are. So here he is in heaven and he's cutting all these beautiful star shapes. And that's it. So for our activity, what we're gonna be doing is playing this game called Roll and Matisse. So in order for you guys to play this game, I am going to leave a copy of this in the description box down below. So you'll be able to get it and either you can print it out or um, maybe someone can help you to just look at it from a phone and you can cut out the shapes so that you can play the game. So for now, we're gonna play it together. So what you're gonna need is some paper that I have already painted. I just filled up the entire page. See, I chose four different colors since there's four categories, but of course you can choose as many as you want. And you could use paint, you can use crayon, marker, construction paper, whatever you have is just fine. Then I'll need a plain piece of paper that I'm gonna glue my shapes onto. You're gonna need a scissor and some glue and some dice so that you can roll the dice and see what number you get. And that's what will tell us which shapes to use for our paintings. So there's four categories. We have background, figure, nature, and add-ons. So the first thing we're gonna do is roll our dice. Let's see what we get. I got number one. So under background for number one, I got this shape. So I'm gonna take my first color and cut out this shape right here. So of course it doesn't have to be perfect and it could be as big or small as you want and you can play the game as many or as little times as you want too. So here we go. So I have my shape right here. I'm gonna take my plain piece of paper and today I'm just using printer paper, but if you have cardstock at home, which is a little bit thicker, you can use that. You can use whatever you might have. So I'll put some glue right here on the back of my shape and then I'm going to glue it on my painting. So it really can go wherever you want. I'm gonna put it right here. So now let's move on to the next category, which is figures. So these look like people, right? Or birds. So let's see what number we get. Let's roll the dice. Oh, I got the number six. So I'll go to the six and go right here. And here is this little guy. It looks like he has one hand up high like this and one down here. So he's kind of like that. So let's see, let's use another color 
and cut out our person. Okay, let's see how it comes out. Here is my person. Of course, it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture. So we'll put some glue on the back and then glue it on just like that. Here we go. All right, let's see, we're up to nature. Let's see what we got, three. So we'll go to the three, and it looks like we have this little leaf right here. I'm gonna use purple. So here we go and we'll put on our glue and go ahead and glue it down just like that all right one more category and that is add-on so that's like adding some fun little details and let's see I got three again so let's try another well, this time we got two so I get to add this little wave all right we're at my last color and you could play this as many times as you want. Another thing that might be fun is to play this with chalk. Maybe you can um, just draw whatever shape you get with chalk and you can just keep adding them on your sidewalk or something. Okay, let's see how it turns out. I'll add this one, hmm, I'm thinking right here. So there we go, there's our little Matisse painting. Um, and of course you can add as many as you want. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you again next week, bye.